When most people think of the interactive entertainment industry, they think of one thing, video games. But there's more to the industry than you know. From defense and education to healthcare and green technology, the interactive entertainment industry is making a name for itself on the global stage. But if you think the gaming industry is unique to the sunny beaches and palm tree lined highways of California, think again. Over 40 interactive game and game engine development companies have moved to the Research Triangle region. And why not? It's a perfect fit. The Triangle area provides all the vibrance and life of a big city with a quaint small town vibe. What I love about living here, you know, personally, is it it still allows me to do what I love to do and then live in a place where I love to live. And that's, I mean, that's really tough to get. And that's, that's why I just think this area is uh, fantastic and it's an exciting place to be. The region boasts three tier one research universities all within minutes of each other. North Carolina State University, Duke University, and the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. So it's no wonder that the people of the Triangle region are thought leaders in technology, education, defense, and green advancements. Games are a fantastic source of um, educating people about different things in the real world. So one of the sort of main areas that I see for games relating to green technology is in the educational context, explaining to people what the issues are, how choices made about policy or implementation of green technology really affects the environment. Do it again, technology. In addition to exploring green technology uses, for the last 40 years, the industry has been quietly building, developing, and perfecting interactive applications that can fundamentally change global defense technology. The Department of Defense is one of the biggest funders of um, what's called serious games. Serious games is the use of games technology for things other than entertainment purposes. So things like uh, training, um, simulations, remote collaboration. All these things are used by uh, defense technology to leverage the power that immersive 3D environments bring and uh, bring the sort of compelling nature of games to uses that range, you know, range from training uh, war fighters to uh, training people who are first responders to emergency situations to evacuations of uh, civilians in combat situations. But despite all its serious work, the game industry can't help but have a little fun. Many times when people hear that you work on video games for a living, the, the inclination is to think that we sit around and play games all day. And, and that's not true. I mean, we play games well into the night as well. In the Triangle region, today's game industry is shaping tomorrow's economy. People, you know, economy aside, they still love playing games. So if they can find a way of enjoying interactive content without spending an arm and a leg, they're going to do it. Video games is a big business, and there's no other way to say it. And so there's a huge amount of money in that. And um, video game companies you know, generate revenue. They provide jobs. Um, and they're good paying jobs for a lot of folks. Continued growth, in turn, nurtures the development of the Research Triangle region's pool of talent and solidifies the region as the industry's newest East Coast hub. We, we've been really happy with the talent we've been able to bring in to our North Carolina studio. Um, there are a number of great people on the East Coast and just in the Triangle area. And uh, e even beyond that, we've been able to bring in top-notch talent to our studio here. We're, we're really excited about the group of people that we have working on games here right now. The fact is, the word is going to get out about this place. It has a lot to offer as a hub for game development, and I see it continuing to grow in the years ahead as the industry grows. Now, when people come to visit us, they're amazed by how much is actually in this area. So the perception of North Carolina is still, oh, yeah, I've heard about a few game companies out there, and you guys are getting bigger. So it's very different than 10 years ago, where it's North Carolina, you guys do what? You know, gaming companies? Really? Economy aside, things are changing. They're going more digital, going more online. So I think as a trend, we're going to continue seeing um, an expansion and growth. So the next time you think of clean, green technology, the world's most advanced defense technologies, or smarter training for tomorrow's engineers, remember the interactive entertainment industry's newest not-so-secret weapon. North Carolina's Research Triangle Region. <laughs>